Our next show is Vihard, a Shakespearean reimagination of Die Hard by Michael Schaefer. Uh, Michael Schaefer is not here. No, nope. has anyone seen this show yet? Nobody's gone to see Die Hard. Uh, got a few more shows after this. Um, does anyone? On the red team, see this? No. <laughs> Asked everyone. Good. Okay. Let's back to the creek. Uh, has everyone seen Die Hard, the movie? Yeah. Bruce yeah I, saw, I saw it. You saw it? <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, you've it's seen Die Hard. Yeah. This is Die Hard. Uh, have you ever seen a Shakespeare play? Absolutely. Many times. All right. Um, let's have you be our critic then. Yeah. <laughs> guy who seen Shakespeare, that makes him highly qualified <laughs> to judge this show. All right. Forsooth, National Poetry Slam poet Michael Schaefer pitches a Shakespearean adaptation of Die Hard. Makeshift air vents, fire hazard policies, and a budgetary cap on Twinkies rear their ugly cream-filled heads as a desperate playwright navigates the Nakatomi Plaza of pitfalls and pentameter, weaving sonnets and soliloquies for all the major players, Sergeant Powell, Takagi, Carl, Argyle, Holly, Hans Gruber, and Detective John McClain. yippee ki yay muckle rucker <laughs> Bye, <Har. laughs> Here I be, in Nakatomi Castle, to visit said wife of Minus. She and I have separated been many a year, many moon past. But here I come to visit on this day of Christmas. I hope that my humble police officer training won't get in the way of our romantic dispute or lack thereof. <laughs> Hello, honey. <laughs> what brings you to this fair corporate <laughs> Christmas party? <laughs> <laughs> celebratory nuisance? Well, of course, to join thine own presence in holy mer merriment for the Christmas season, of course. I'm going to use the little boy's room. I'll be right back. Hi, you do. For the money in all of this place. You don't seem to be acquainted with this party. You are not invited. I am not invited, but here I am. And I will be taking all of the jewels and your life as well if you do not cooperate. This. Thy fair husband! Fair husband, I hear you're having quarrels. Thy <laughs> Thy will go to him in restlessness and in anger. Come quick. It appeareth that mine own wife hath been taken by King Gruber of the Hans. I know it's not what to do. She's been trapped. I, I must save her before the, the top of the building explodes. Shut thy mouth. All right. Through the air vents, I climb. If you do not keep quiet, your head will be on thy floor. Alack, I hear faint voices coming through the duct. <laughs> do you it really is think, mine own. Do you really think thy husband will save you now? <laughs> <laughs> A weapon! <laughs> okay, it is time. 
I think I will set fire to the dynamite. From the duct I burst. Wait, Gruber. Though I be of woman born, <laughs> yip is kaye, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the life I expected to live, <laughs> but it is the one I was given this. <laughs> Merry Christmas, mine wives. <laughs> <laughs> and a Merry Christmas to all! <laughs> Talked about for many years. <laughs> we are a diehard expert and Shakespearean scholar right here in the audience. Yes. Please step up and uh, tell us what you think of Die Hard. Very good. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, you really you really pulled it off. And um, all I have to say is um, if I were to rate this, if I were to rate this, um, it would be rated of the many Die Hard movies that came out. <laughs> <laughs> five out of five stars. Yeah! Yeah!